Now that we've got the car outside, the reason we chose a 1965 is because it was the year that the big block was introduced. Now, if this was a 396 car, it would be considered a Z16, which this one is not. We'll be able to show you why here in just a second, but we can tell that it is a super sport car because it does have the grill with the black, blacked out inserts right here. We do have the original trim. Uh, this car would have the moldings that come down the side if it was a super sport, which this is. And the reason we know that is because it has the holes down here for the trim. If it was just original sport scoop car, it would have holes that go down the side of this car. And this one does not. Now, to take a look at the VIN number, we have to come inside here to the A-pillar. And we can see that this car's VIN starts with a 138. And that means that it was a Super Sport V8 car. Now they did make six cylinder super sport cars in 65, and that would be a 137 car. Now, if we come back in here to the VIN number again, we can see that after the 138, it does say 37. So 37 means that it's a two door sports coupe and a 67 would be a convertible. So the VIN numbers in the United States actually had 13 digits. If it was a Canadian built car, it would only have 12. Now these seats are specific to a Chevelle Super Sport. They're bucket seats and also the console, which still has the clips here. This car was a four speed. It looks like the original hole is in the floor as well as it does have the pedals in it. Um, this car was not actually equipped with a tack. We take a look up here in the dash. The tack was optional for a Super Sport. So it does have the clock. If you wanted the tack in here, it, the clock was actually moved up here on the dash for the 65 models. And you could also get a Super Sport in an automatic, which this one's not. Some factories you can tell whether you have a automatic or a Super Sport four speed car from the trim tag. And we'll take a look at this trim tag right now. And no, this car, this car was built in Baltimore, Maryland. And if it was built in Baltimore, Maryland, it doesn't have a third row of information down here, which would tell us whether this car was a automatic or a four speed car. Um, but we can also see that it has a Fisher body number on here, uh, 138, uh, which matches the one in the A pillar. However, these body tags were made by different, basically builders across the United States and not all of them are correct for the actual VIN of the car. So we can't tell specifically that this was a super sport car by the tag. The 714 stands for the black gut and then the, the NN stands for maroon top and bottom. It didn't have a vinyl top or anything like that. Um, but the real question is, is what motor does this car have in it? We take a look at the pad here. We have ran the numbers on this pad and we can see that the ends H and C and that comes back to about a 64 327 from an automatic car and this car was a four speed from the factories. They didn't stamp serial numbers or anything on these blocks until 1968. So if we also go back into here with where the block is, the way that this would be read is a T for the plant that it was built in and then it would have the day and the month that it was coded correct for the car but we can't ever say that they are numbers matching in a 65 Chevelle. There was a couple different engine options in 1965 for the Malibu, Malibu Super Sport. Yeah, you could have had the six cylinder, but mostly they all got the 327 just like this. Now, the L79 motor is the 327, 350 horse, which would have only came with a four speed. If we take a look down here at the sway bar at the bottom, uh, we can see that it's small. So that means that we don't have a Z16 car and as we take a walk down the side here, they only made 201 Z16. They made 200 hard tops and one convertible. The convertible is actually still out there. It was a triple tan car. So it had a convertible tan top, a tan seat and tan paint. Um, if you know of anything about that car, or no one that looks like it, please get a hold of us at info at backyardbarnfinds.com. Down the side of the car here in 65, uh, we did get the SS logos down here for the Super Sport, as well as the tail pan on this car for the Super Sport had the, had the blacked out ring, um, unless you had a, a blue car, uh, which could have came in silver. Now they did make, they did make Super Sport six cylinder cars. 
And if we take a look underneath this one, we just see the two little bolts. That means that this is a 12 bolt, but you could get a 10 bolt in a Super Sport in 1965. So at the end of the day, what we have is a Malibu Super Sport car, but we don't have the original engine. That does affect the value on this car. Not that Chucky would ever sell it anyway, but when you're going to look to buy one, make sure that you have paperwork from day one so we can tell whether it was a real L79 car or not. If you like this type of information on these kind of cars, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like. My name is Parker with Backyard Barn Finds. Have a great day.